Selling beats online is dead. So let me guess, you started a beat store and you created a YouTube channel to post your beats, but still, no sales to the point where you can't even figure out why you're not getting any traction at all and even though your beats are fire you're still not getting any sales whatsoever it doesn't matter if you've been making beats for two months or two years i literally know so many producers going through this exact same problem so let me give you a bit of a backstory seven years ago i started posting my beats online and even though my beats were literally terrible like dog water I still got more sales back then than I do now. Because back in 2017, no one was posting beats online. So it was so easy to post YouTube videos of your beats and get views and upload your beats to your beat store and get sales. But in 2024, that method does not work anymore. And anyone that tells you otherwise is trying to sell you a course. But all hope is not lost because there are plenty of ways to make money as a music producer in 2024. But the reality is, it's a lot of hard work and it won't be as easy as just uploading your beats to your YouTube and your beat store and hoping to magically get sales, but it does work. And what I'm talking about is building a personal brand. Nobody cares how good your beats are. You could have the best beats ever. If you have two followers, no one's gonna hear them and no one cares, bro. I know it's a sad reality and it's probably not what you want to hear, but the truth is people care about clout. Artists want to work with producers that have clout, producers that have a following, producers that have their own thing going for themselves. This is why you need to build a personal brand. And the reality is once you actually do build a personal brand, you'll be able to make so much more money from sponsorships and also from views that you won't even care about selling beats. I know that because one year ago, I stopped trying to sell beats and started building my personal brand. 150K followers on TikTok, 10K on YouTube, and 10K on Instagram. Another great example of this is the producer Shonzi, who built a huge following for himself on TikTok. And now he's working with iShow Speed and a bunch of different artists. But what I need you to remember is those artists don't work with him because of how good his beats are. Even though his beats are good, they work with him because of the brand that he's built for himself. Because he has a following, he's got motion. And when you've got motion, people want to work with you. So now, if you've been paying attention, you're probably wondering, well, what should I post? What content should I make? How do I build a personal brand? So there's two main types of content that you could be creating. The first is to make educational videos and the second is to make entertaining videos. Now, you're a music producer. So these videos could be videos of you cooking up beats, reacting to your old beats. I've been doing a lot of those recently. They get thousands, if not millions of views or post tutorials, how to make beats, teach other producers. There's always gonna be new people starting at day one that would love to learn. And if you were the person to teach them, you could build a following and also make more money than selling beats. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so many things when it comes to creating content as a music producer. So if you want to learn how I've been able to consistently go viral and also build my following, then make sure to subscribe as I'm gonna be posting more videos on this topic soon.